welcome to this short tutorial video on using the Anritsu Fieldmaster trace record and playback feature. I've set the spectrum analyzer up to monitor 88 gigahertz to 108 gigahertz and here we can see all of the FM transmitters in the local area. I've also put a marker at a frequency where I can simulate an interfering signal occurring. So to record the traces I go into the trace menu and select the record feature. I'm going to record to internal memory. Instead of recording indefinitely, I'm going to set a record time of 10 seconds. There's enough memory in the instrument to record hours of trace data. So to start recording, I simply press the record button and that will start recording for 10 seconds. If a signal of interest comes along, I just press the add tag button and a tag will be added to the traces when that signal of interest occurred. Now we want to play back the traces we've just recorded. In the trace menu, I need to go into playback and then recall the traces that I want to view. Having recalled them, we get the playback window popping up here. And if I press play, you can see up here, it tells me how many traces have been recorded and what number trace I'm looking at. I can step through the traces sequentially, or I can use the tag feature to jump to the position of interest that I tagged when I was recording. If I want to play back more quickly, I can change the playback interval here and change the playback interval from 20 milliseconds to one second, depending upon what I want to do. And then I just press continue again, and we continue to play back, and we can see that playback feature here. I can also initiate a spectrogram view. If I want to see a spectrogram of the recorded traces, I go into the measure menu and change the view to spectrogram. And now when I press play, we get a spectrogram showing below the trace data. And in that case, we can see the intermittent interfering signal appear in the spectrogram. And if I continue to play, we can see that that signal turns off as well. I hope that shows you how easy it is to record traces and play them back on the instrument. And as I said, these traces can be, there's enough memory in the instrument to record these traces for many hours. Thank you very much.